The Tanaloa Dialogue kicked off today, as well as the first part of the gender workshop. Negotiations also continued under the two subsidiary bodies and under the Paris Agreement Working Group. The Tanaloa Dialogue is an international conversation where countries check progress and seek to increase global ambition to meet the Paris Agreement goals. Tanaloa is a Pacific Island concept introduced by Fiji, centered on inclusive participation and transparency. Talanoa Dialogue is an opportunity to hear the stories of, of countries and also other stakeholders who are doing good work in addressing climate change. And these are things that we may not normally hear in the media in raising ambition to tackle climate change, but also learning from the stories about what has not worked well and how to do it better. And I think this is the real value of this storytelling space called the Talanoa Dialogue. The dialogue was launched at COP23 in Bonn and will run throughout this year. It is structured around three questions. Where are we? Where do we want to go? And how do we get there? So of course, you know, we are getting, um, we are adopting an approach that has never been tested in any multilateral settings, probably, an approach from the Pacific. And there's uncertainty about what uh, it can deliver. You know, there's going to be a lot that we would have in any case to digest, to take home, to brief our ministers, so that when the Petersburg Dialogue comes in, when the ministers, uh, the ministerial meetings that is happening in Brussels, led by Canada, the EU, and China, they start already to think about how they can take this information forward. Outside the process, there is evidence of momentum in terms of climate action. During a special briefing on the Global Climate Action Summit, which will take place later in the year, the Mahindra Group announced that 11 of its companies have just taken on science-based targets, which pushes the total number of companies taking similar action globally to over 400. Science-based targets are not easy. In the journey to achieve science-based targets, companies need to innovate and find cost-effective new solutions. Women are typically on the front line when it comes to climate change, but they're not fully involved in climate-related decision-making. And yet, they play a critical role in responding to climate change. With a view to addressing this, a gender action plan was launched at COP23, aimed at supporting the implementation of gender-related decisions in the UN climate process. I mean, to actually really implement solid climate action, you need to involve all parts of the population, but also you need solid data, you need solid finance uh, to understand how to make those changes uh, and also how the population is impacted differently by climate change. So whether it's women, men, children, the elderly, uh, those impacts are different and as we learned this morning without relevant data to understand that, uh, you can't actually implement proper solutions. On Thursday, the Paris Committee on Capacity Building gets down to business. There will also be a facilitative sharing of views and the SUVA expert dialogue continues. So please join us as we continue to bring you daily video highlights from Bonn.